Hello and welcome to Beyond the Classroom, a closer look at those here at Windermere Prep. I'm joined today by high school science teacher, Ms. Katie Perot. Ms. Perot, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Let's begin at the beginning. Where were you born? I was born in Newark, Delaware, a really small town, um, pretty much one of the only towns in Delaware. Tell me about your childhood growing up. I have a sister and we were really close and um, I loved school and learning and we would travel a lot as a family, so we had a lot of fun. What was your favorite subject in school? Science. Hands right. down. <laughs> Hands down it was science. Hands down yes, science, okay. it just okay. came naturally. So. How much time did you spend on academics back in school? Per day? I sure. Just, um, Probably an hour, hour and a half. I wasn't, we weren't allowed to do anything after school except study. Being that you weren't allowed to do anything after school, did you take part in any school activities? Those were allowed, but I wasn't allowed to, you know, watch TV or anything after school. So I, w I played field hockey and lacrosse, and I was also in the high school marching band. Tell me a little bit about uh, the, the marching band. What instruments did you play? I played the trumpet, and um, I played it for all four years. I was also in concert band. It was really fun. We got to go on trips. We went to... Um, we got to go to Disney World and stuff like that. So, Who was your childhood best friend? Um, my sister. I don't know. We were really, really close growing up. What was that relationship like? Tell me about that dynamic. So we're 16 months apart, and we always looked, we look almost identical. So everybody always thought we were twins, and we always did everything together. And she lives in Pennsylvania now, but even still, it's like we're still living right next door to each other. We were, we were always just really, really close, best friends. What were some of your favorite activities to do with your sister growing up? Um, we traveled a lot as a family on, um, we would go on motorcycle trips as a family and, because we all rode, and so that was kind of what we spent a lot of time doing. Any particular memory from on the road, any trip that, that stands out to you? Uh, my first trip, I was four, and we went to Tennessee for two weeks, my dad and I, and I was in the sidecar. We went camping for two weeks. It was really, really fun. Tell me ab about your parents. My mom is, uh, she works for Merck Pharmaceuticals. She's a nurse, and my dad's a teacher. He's been teaching for 30 years. He teaches history. Was he a, a bit of an influence as far as your decision to, to absolutely. teach? Yeah, absolutely. I always looked up to him, and I thought it was really admirable how he was, he could sacrifice himself for his students. And so um, once I fell in love with biology, that's what I decided to do was teach biology. Did you have any jobs when you were younger? No, we weren't really allowed to do any jobs as long as we kept straight A's. So as long as our grades were high enough, we didn't have to work. As I understand it, you entered college early? So I was always young growing up. I was always a year younger than everybody. I started kindergarten when I was four, and I was 17 when I went to college. And I went to, my first year I went to James Madison University, which is in Virginia. It's about four hours from my house. So that was tough being 17 and moving four hours away um, from my parents, and it forced me to kind of grow up really quickly. But the good thing is I was able to graduate right when I had turned 21, and then I started um, teaching pretty soon after that. What were some of your favorite things to do uh, during your college years? Um, we played a lot of sports. I played intramural field hockey um, with my friends, and I didn't really have much time for anything because I graduated in three years. I graduated you know, earlier than everybody, right. so I was really just kind of focused on getting out of college. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just ready to, I was ready to start. So as soon as you're done with college, you yeah. graduated, your first job right out of college. I worked at a research facility. Um, I was micropolishing laparoscopic stents. It's the, they go into your heart. And so I was micropolishing them, and, um, and I was just doing it to save up enough money to move to Florida. That's really what I wanted to do. And so. Now, how does, uh, how does one come about uh, a particular job of polishing up uh, stents? Well, having a biology degree, um, you just kind of put your resume out there. And I had done a little bit of research help when I was in college, um, but I was working with plants, so it was kind of different. Um, and I was living in the Pennsylvania area, and this really cool job opened up. It was they, they just started doing the stent operation in, in Pennsylvania. That brought you to Florida. Yeah. That bring you directly to Windermere? Uh, to Winter Park. Tell me about that. So I had visited Winter Park with just visiting with friends, and I fell in love with it. And um, because I was young and I didn't really have any attachments to any certain place, I decided to move to Winter Park just kind of to see what I could do. And um, I knew that I wanted to teach. So as soon as I moved down here, within two months, I'd already secured my teaching job for the following year. Now from Winter Park to? To this area. To this area? I taught at a school um, that was south in Kissimmee. And um, when I met my husband, my now husband, we really liked 
open areas, and we like to spend a lot of time outside, and so I then started looking for jobs closer to, instead of so far from Kissimmee, and I found Windermere, and it's gorgeous, obviously, and the school seemed great. I've heard rumors that you have some interesting pets. I live in an equestrian community, so I don't have horses, but a lot of people have horses. You're allowed to have cows um, and lots of other livestock, and so we just have chickens. I have five chickens, and um, we get about 35 eggs a week, which is a good number, and um, they stopped laying in the winter, but they just started actually a couple days ago, so I'm really excited. So how many animals uh, total do you have? I have a dog, a cat, and five chickens. Okay. Yeah, and I have a big vegetable garden. That's my summers, I just am out in the garden. That's what we spend a lot of time doing, because we really try to live off our land as much as we can. Would you say that uh, gardening is one of your hobbies? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. My husband and I both were outside. Um, he comes from a family that also had lots of land, and so we both like to, to grow our own food. That's really what I, I don't really care about gardening flowers and stuff. I just want to grow my own food. What's your favorite part of the day? Um, I love my dog, and sometimes I just get excited just thinking about seeing my dog. I just love my dog, so getting home and seeing my dog, and then my husband, and once we're all home, it's just, you know, it's really exciting. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Still teaching, for sure, and probably with a big family, and. I don't know, nothing too crazy. Definitely teaching biology still. Ms. Perot, I want to thank you for, for taking of the course. time to sit down and chat with us and, and talk about your life beyond the classroom. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.